the following problem has been asked in gate 2008 it was a part of gate 2008 in that year this problem was asked and back to back it means that two marks plus two marks four marks problem it is host x has a ip address and this is the ip address of host x correct which is connected to two routers r1 and r2 r1 and r2 are two routers between host x and host y you can understand host x connecting with host y meanwhile they are having two routers r1 and r2 r1 uh, uh, host y is having ip address 192.168.1.180 so the part which i am highlighting with blue markers they are the ip addresses of host they are ip addresses of host they are ip addresses of host getting it now the part that i am highlighting with green that will be ip addresses of r1 and r2 so router 1 have ip address 192.168.1.135 and 192.168.1.110 and r2 router 2 router 2 is having ip address 192.168.167 and 192.168.1.155 so all the ip addresses are very much clearly mentioned here and the network mask is common for all network mask is 255.255.255.2424 this is the network mask host x host y two routers each is having two ip address what we need to answer given the information above how many different subnets guaranteed guaranteed to already exist in network two marks problem and one more continuous problem for two marks which ip address should x host x configure its gateway as clear now i hope everybody have the problem with them now the task is to solve it what i am doing just scrolling down and i am writing all the ip address of one by one 192.168.1.97 dot 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 which is the ip address of host x ip address of host y 192 dot 168 dot 1 dot 80 correct i am having router 1 and router 1 is also having two ip addresses one ip address is 192 dot 168 dot 1 dot 135 and one more ip address is 192 dot 168 dot 1 dot 110 router 2 it also have two ip addresses one ip address is 192.168.1.67 and one more ip address it have 192.168.1.155 right what happened with the the thing that we have written it should disappear It's been written here, right? Where it, where it's been gone? Should I rewrite it? What happened? Okay, host X was there, whose IP address was one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot ninety seven. Router one was there. Router two was there. Router one was there. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot 135 correct now we are having subnet mask 255.255.255.224 here also we are having subnet mask 255.255.255.224 
Here also we are having sub subnet mask 255.255.254. Here also we are having same subnet mask 255.255.255. Two twenty four. Here also we are having same subnet two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot twenty four. Here we are also having same subnet mask two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two twenty four. Right. What we need to do? We need to perform bitwise operation between them. We need to perform bitwise an operation here, 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 and here. You know the concept of bitwise end operation. Bitwise end operation between network IP and subnet mask is done to get what? To get network ID. To get network ID, we do so. Isn't it? Yes. So, if you are going to perform here, this part will remain as it is. 192.168.1. Here also 192.168.1. Here also 192.168.1. Here also 192.168.1. Here also 192.168.1. And here also 192.168.1. Because all are ones here, isn't it? In the equivalent of or are having one year. We need to focus on last octet. We need to focus on last octet. We need to focus on last octet of each subnet ID, each ID and each subnet mask. Last octet. Because this is going to make the difference. So if you are going to see here, 97, if you are going to convert it into the binary and 224, that is 111000. So the result Get here is 011 00001. Here you will get the resultant 010 10000 as a resultant. Here you are going to get 10000 as a resultant. Here you are going to get 011 00 uh, 011 Here you are going to get 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 1. Here you are going to get 1, 0, 1, 1, dot. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now, 224 can be written as 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. How many net ID bits we have here? How many subnet ID bits? 3 subnet ID bits we have here. How many subnet ID bits we have here? 3. We have 3 subnet ID bits here. We have 3 subnet ID bits here. We have 3 subnet ID bits, 3 subnet ID bits, 3 subnet ID bits, and 3 subnet ID bits. Whatever I have highlighted. On the basis of that, everybody can conclude at least how many subnet ID bits I have. At least 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 0, and 1, 0, 0. You can see 0, 1, 1 here. 0, 1, 1 here also. 0, 1, 0 here. And 0, 1, 0 here. And 1, 0, 0 here. 1, 0, 0 here. All 6 are covered. 100%. What we can say? 100% 3 subnet IDs are here. 3 subnet ID bits are here. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. It means that given the information above, how many distinct subnets are there? 100% 3. Uh, how we can say? Because we are having 0, 1, 1 clearly seen, 0, 1, 0 clearly seen, and 1, 0, 0 clearly seen. So we can guarantee, we can guarantee that 100% 3 subnets will be there on the basis of such results. This is gate 2 mark problem. I hope. You can relate it what patent gate is asking. You know the knowledge, they know, but how to implement it like this. Getting it? One more. Which IP address should X configure its gateway to? Second question, back to back. 
so for solving second question for solution 2 up to here up to here you get two marks you get two marks up to here by answering these three bits that three subnets are there 100% three subnets are there question number solution number two host a which gateway ip it will configure to so 192.168.1.1 97 it is the ip address of host x it is the ip address of host x what is the subnet mask 255.255.255.224 if you will perform bitwise operation what you are getting dot 011 000 01 it will remain the 192.1 68.1 what you are getting this now what is subnet bit 011 now x is going to communicate first with router 1 and next time it is going to communicate with router 2 router 1 192.168.1.135 here the subnet mask 255.255.255.224 you will get here what 192.168.1.135 and 224 the result would be dot 1000000 this will be your result router 2 192.168.1.110 and subnet mask 255.255.255.224 result would be 192. 168.1. What would be the result? Dot zero one one zero 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 zero. So you can see, you can relate it that if you are going just a second, if you are going to have host X. And in host X, you are having network ID bits 011. This is equal to this. It means that host X will configure its gateway to the IP address of R1 as this. Basically, basically R1 IP address is going to be in the picture. R1 is having this IP address and this IP address. So out of that, this is going to give the exact bit number 011 as x is getting by subnet masking. So, question number 2, if you are going to solve it, which IP address should x configure its gateway as? Option B, 192.168.110. The reason is this. The reason is this. I hope the problem solution is clear to each and everyone here. And this is how you can get two marks more. So total two plus two, total four marks you can get directly with the help of this gate question. I hope each and everything which I have explained here is clear. Here router X is working with router one and router one is having two IP address, this and this. By doing bitwise end operation here and here you are getting this as network ID here and here is this network ID. The network ID that is going to match is going to be considered as gateway because it should be same.